Hi, Peter Charles here, Hooked Fly Fly Fishing, and today we're going to do the very first tube fly version of a classic streamer. And since it was a longtime favorite of mine, in fact, it was the very first fly I caught a fish on, it's the Black Ghost Streamer. So we're going to start with that as our two fly version. And if you want to know some of the basics that I get into with uh, tube flies, I will put a, a link to uh, my, won't be on this side, uh, to my introductory video which will show you, uh, you know, the intent of the series, plus it'll introduce you to three other videos that cover a lot of the basics of what I'm going to talk about. So I'm going to move on from that. I won't regurgitate all that stuff over again. Now, the thing about doing classic streamers on tubes is that you will have to make some adjustments on how you put them together, the proportions, uh, things like how you handle tails and that sort of thing. So we're going to get started, and uh, as I'll talk about the differences as I go. So, the materials. I've got a, a two inch aluminum tube in the uh, vise here. My thread is a black Vivas 10 aught. I'm going to use a, a medium silver uh, oval tinsel. My tag is going to be uh, yellow floss, and this replaces the yellow tail. The body is black yarn. You could also use black floss, too, your choice. I'm going to use yellow, yellow saddle hackle for the uh, collar. Uh, it's uh, tied as a throat or a collar. Let's take a look at the original here. Um, you can see that it has a tail and a yellow tail and uh, the yellow throat. Because this is a tube, I'm going to tie throats generally as collars instead of throats. Uh, I don't like the idea of putting a throat on a tube because it can tend to make it want to go be a little tippy. So uh, we'll go with the collar. Uh, the wing is going to be basically the same. They the, are good old white bucktail. So let's get going. Okay, let's get the thread started. Now I know a lot of times we put um, underbodies of thread, we put a thread coverage first. I don't see the point of doing that with the tube fly as much. It's, it's thicker, it's bulkier, it's just adding bulk. So next we're just going to tie in our Floss. And then our rib. And now our black yarn. And now we just wind all that back. We keep everything on top. Stop about there. I'm just going to keep the floss backwards and I'm going to bend this forwards. I'm just going to put a couple of wraps just to keep this stuff out of the way. There we go. We'll undo that at the end. Now I'm just going to bring my floss back. Come forward. You start getting close to the end and you're afraid it to let it slip out of your fingers, just put on some hackle pliers. And that way you won't lose uh, your grip on it. Floss is slippery, it's easy to let go of it. Now we undo those wraps. We'll wind off our floss here. Come forward of the uh, yarn now I move back with the yarn cover up any little bits there then come forward try not to let any uh, aluminum show underneath
for our rib. Again, we use some hackle pliers just to keep a grip on it. One turn at the back, then come forward. Now for our yellow saddle hackle. Now I've used a, a rather webby piece here. Your choice, you can use uh, a saddle hackle that's rather spiky, or you could use this webby stuff. This is more like schloppen actually. Uh, it's labeled uh, saddle hackle, but it comes off a lot more like schloppen. So I've got my little tying in point that I've just cut. Now, as far as proportions are concerned, you can see that this um, throat is has some fairly long barbs. I'll leave that choice to you. I did the uh, hook version rather sparse. I'm doing this one a little bit more uh, robust. Just fold it over. If you're finding it not folding properly, just back up. Take your time. Here we go. And now for our white bucktail. I'm going to strip out the short stuff. The, the hook point will be roughly where uh, my fingernail is, so I'm going to leave it about that length. It's going to cut it off there. And we'll just use a pinch loop. Another one, another one. There we go. Let's clean that up at first. When you get down to the back wraps, go lightly so they don't cause the wing to flare up. And come forward, filling in any gaps that you might see, and then whip finish. Okay, now for some head cement. We're going to use some UV glue. There we go, our tube black ghost couple of changes, put the throat in, made it a little bushier than I normally would do. I put in a substantial yellow floss tag. If you use clear heat shrink, you can put it over the uh, floss, no problem. The other thing you could do, uh, instead of putting in the yellow floss tag, you could use some yellow junction tube. That would work too, a nice bright yellow for junction tubing. No problem, you get the same effect. It's just to have some yellow at the back. And so I put some floss in here, but you're free to use some yellow junction tubing as well if you wish. So there we go, our Black Ghost tube fly version. Cheers.